Hey guys, Shelby here. Welcome back to the channel. Today I want to talk to you about block splitting and combining coins for staking purposes in your Deep Onion wallet. This can also be used in other QT based cryptocurrency wallets. So the purpose of block splitting and combining allows you to get the maximum rewards for your staking efforts. For example, say you have 50 incoming transactions on your wallet. Five of those transactions are a large sum of coin, like 100 or more. 45 of those transactions are small sums, like 0.02. If we consider the max weight of your coins is reached in 30 days, small sums may never hit a stake, whereas large sums might stake every other day or so. This drives your weight down significantly when you hit a stake, but you might not be able to hit another one until that large sum grows again. So by utilizing block splitting and combining, you can group small transactions together and split, split up big transactions to allow steady flow of coin weight against the network, hopefully in order to find more blocks. So we've got our wallet open and now we're going to set up the coin control features. So you go to settings, options, and you hit this tab that says display and click display coin control features expert only. Click apply, OK. Now you'll go over here to the send coins tab. Now you notice we have a new box here that says coin control features. You can select inputs and now you see this right here. This displays all of your coins on this uh, address, the label, your address, and the priority. And you also see you have this expand arrow right here. You hit that expand arrow and then you'll see all of the transactions that uh, came in on different blocks in your wallet. Now some of these might be 0.02 like I was saying and some of them might be really large. Um, I have actually already combined some blocks or split some blocks up so that's why you see these 250 blocks right here in order to combine and split blocks all you'd have to do is check mark that and that'll check all of the blocks and you'll notice it says quantity right here six all of the coins and then it's also going to charge a fee and then after fees. So you would select all those. Now it's going to want you to put in an address. So you want to put in your same address and send it back to you. So go over to the Receive Coins tab, right click, press Copy Address, go back over to Send Coins tab, and then Control V or Paste. It'll automatically put your label up so now you know that's the exact wallet address. And then I'm going to make 250 coin blocks. The reason for this is 250 coins, coin blocks should be able to stake at once every couple of days. Once one block stakes, the weight's going to reset on only that block. The rest of the blocks will continue to gather weight until those stake. There's also a max subsidy of coins that are allowed per stake. I believe it's around a thousand but this wallet is so small that I'm not really concerned with that at this time. I just want to make 250 blocks. So I would go into the amount and I'd put in 250. Now you see, since I have all of those selected, it's going to have change left of 1421 once I utilize the 250. So that's going to combine all those blocks and put it into one block of 1421. Now since I have, so that would be what you'd want to do on the very first block that you make. Since I've already made some blocks, I want to show you how to just select your change blocks. So go back to inputs, hit your drop down menu, deselect the blocks that you've already created and just utilize these left over right this was my latest um, transaction 
and this was the change that I had left on the blocks that I created um, yesterday. So you would just have those two selected. You'd click OK. Now you, have, now you wanted 250 on your block. Notice your change is going to leave you with 421. So it's going to combine those two blocks. You click send. Are you sure you want to send? Yes, I do. In your passphrase. It's over the size limit, so it's going to send a transaction fee. Click yes. Now you can go over here to overview and see that it took out a transaction fee but it's a pay it says payment to yourself. So if you go back to send coins, click inputs again, now drop this menu down, you see that your change left over is 421, and that you have a new block right here, see how it has zero, has zero confirmations? And um, so that one's gonna start building up weight. So now I have five blocks and I have 421 change left over. I'm going to select that one, press OK. I already have my wallet ID copied and paste, copied, so I'll paste it in there. I'm going to put this amount as 250. It's going to leave me with change left over of 171. Send. Click inputs one more time. Now you notice I have seven on there. I have six 250 coin blocks, two of them with zero confirmations, and then my change left over is 171. So obviously I can't make another 250 block out of that. So we'll just let that one start growing and maybe it'll hit its own stake. Or maybe I'll get more coins by that time and then I can make another 250 block. All right, so when you do that, obviously those blocks are going to restart confirmations. So they will not, they will have to take 24 hours to mature. And also you wanna make sure you unlock your wallet again, because after you do any transaction, it automatically locks your wallet. So unlock your wallet so you can start staking and then it should say pretty soon, not staking because coins are immature. So now you just wait. And hopefully with those 250 coin blocks, I'll be able to hit a stake two or three times a day for each one of those blocks. And they will... Uh, continue to make me good efforts on my staking purposes. All right, guys. Well, that's about it for today. Um, if you like this video or it helped you, um, please subscribe and thumbs up. I'll be putting out new crypto videos ever so often. So come back and see me. Thank you.